It is a problem that many people are dealing with in Western Washington, the dreaded package delay. It is so bad, our Jesse Jones has been getting a ton of emails about poor delivery service for months. Tonight, he takes a look at a Kenmore family who's waiting for their terribly slow package delivery to get back on track. For artist and leather worker Catlin McNamara, there's nothing pretty about her experience with the shipping company on track. Right now, on track has, I still believe, five packages in their facility in Kent that are waiting to be delivered. In Kent? In Kent. How long have they been in Kent? They've been in Kent since, some of them since the 5th or 6th of December. So well over a month. I kid you not. Catlin's been waiting for packages from Ulta Beauty and the Vitacost store. I don't understand how they could run a delivery company called OnTrack and be so off track. It's ridiculous. Arizona based OnTrack's been getting lots of heat from customers from all over the region for its slow service. Now, Catlin believes she's getting snowed by the company. They blamed it on the snowstorm after it had been sitting in their warehouse for three weeks. And I said, yeah, that's fine this week, but please tell me what was happening the three weeks before that. Each day after working in her cozy Kenmore studio, she's the one who's getting hammered, like distressed leather, by OnTrack's update system. Today I looked online and it says that these packages are going to be delivered by the end of the day today. And that's what it said literally every day that I've checked since December 6th. Complaints have poured into our email box about the company and we found this, a Facebook page called OnTrack Sucks. We called the company and asked specifically about Catlin's packages and other delays. In response, OnTrack said, our top priority is and has always been our customers, and we share their frustration with delayed packages. Our team is working to ensure packages move through our network as quickly and securely as possible. However, in a response to an attorney general complaint, the company admitted deliveries are being prioritized in a first in first out basis. Yes, the company is taking a beating. So under the sharp eye of security, but we got all day. We posted up across the street from one of their warehouses and decided to take a different approach. Encouragement. Top pot it is. We've got donuts and bottled water to hand out to hard working drivers. You work for OnTrack? Yeah. Yeah, here, have some donuts, what, man. What, man. Maybe a kind word yeah, and a care, sweet man. snack will work better. Keep it up, man. Than harsh criticism. Man, take some waters, man. You guys are working hard. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for what you do, man. While we're at it, we might as well thank delivery drivers from all companies. Are you man, serious? I'm dead serious. From UPS. Oh my God, look at those. They're great, awesome. man. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. We'll even give some love to our friends at FedEx. Thanks for what you do, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You want a donut, man? Actually, it was a great day. Bottom line, these everyday workers are busting their tails to deliver packages when they can. As for their bosses and management, I would have serious hesitations about having anything shipped with on track. That's another story. It isn't so sweet. I've been primarily online, so I know how it is to run an online business that requires some shipping, but I use the post office, so. <laughs> we talked to a contractor from OnTrack who says the problem was simply volume. Too many packages and not enough drivers. He says paying drivers more may help, but he's not sure how much more is needed to bring more drivers on to deliver that backlog of packages. In Seattle. Jesse Jones, Cairo 7 News. If you have something you want Jesse to investigate, give him a call. The number's there on your screen, 1-844-77-JESSE. You can also submit story ideas at jessejones.com.